right. And it looks like there's a certain gentleman just there who's got the bit between his teeth and we're all looking over our shoulders, apart from me. Because <laughs> I've got something to see behind me. It's Steve Rhodes with 30 questions. Number one, um, who, who is the current Shadow Chancellor of the Exchequer? Michael. McDonald. Yep. Joe McDonald. Yeah. Two points for this round. Prior to Blackburn in 1994-95, who were the last team to win the Football League based in a town and not a city? Uh, Ipswich? Yes. 1961-62. I just saw, saw all over that one. <laughs> what, what is the capital city of the Central African, Central Asian? You said Central African, I'm going for Bangui, and you're going to give me two points, and we're going to call that it. No. <laughs> you said Central I African. It can't the question. You're going to call for it. <laughs> no, no, you asked the question. I'm both in the oh, I'm saying it. <laughs> what did you want to ask? Central Asian? Yeah. Scrap it, he's got a spare. No, 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 no. Yeah. no the first game we all want to press and say Bangu in, didn't we? Two points for Bangu, I haven't got a penny, It's not going to be Bangu Why people hate me. Who won the women's singles at the 2015 US Tennis Championships? Oh, um, Laycock. Serena Williams. No. Okay, I'll go for uh, Venus then. No. Uh, Clive. Meta. Yeah, Flavia. Flavia. Yeah, I'm very tough. If the names, there's the only one. If there's any Martians ever land in this country and say, could you explain the phrase, Gulf of Difference? I just watch that question, will you? Yeah. Clive still be. Yeah. Who, who wrote the 1855 novel Westwood Hill? It's Mike. Charles Kingsley. Yes. Yeah. 18. Which band released albums in the 1990s called Meow, Quench and Painted It Red? <laughs> Five. Uh, Beautiful self. Yeah. Oh, no. Twenty five five. Uh, well, four points on the round, twenty altogether. Who kicked the controversial last minute penalty that put Australia through to the Rugby Union World Cup semi final at the expense of Scotland? And uh, Lake up. Somebody called Bruce? <laughs> Mike Johnson. Sam. Kelly. Put that with him, isn't Bernard Foley. Yes, it was. <laughs> Very legitimate question. Shame on us. The name of which element, atomic number 57, comes from the Greek to lie hidden? <coughs> it's a uh, kid. Lanthanum. Yes. Lanthanum. What is the most northern town of British men. It's John the Grove. No. Not a town. Oh, no. damn. Lake up. Thurso? Thurso is the yeah. Lake up. Spent the night there. <laughs> you, you two in Two points for uh, Matt Lake up. In which town. Hang on, right, go. Yeah. In which town is the brewery of Copper Dragon based? Lake up again. Skipton. Yes. Which poet's works include Easter 1916? Clive. Clive nearly had a little two there. Very good. 22 altogether, six on the round, and in the joint lead with Steve Kidd. Check it out, everybody. <laughs> Give a year in the life of Daniel Defoe. Uh, Kidd's going to go for 1742. No. What, 
If he wins, take those two points off. Name either of the two race courses in Norfolk. <coughs> Best of faking them. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm yeah, I'm yeah, I'm faking them. You should have said, yeah. describe your orgasms. Best <laughs> 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 against two. Faking them. Faking them, yeah. yeah. In the UK TV series, Open All Hours, what was Ronnie Barker's character? Arkham's first name. Albert. Sam. Uh, Albert. Albert, yeah. Albert, yeah. 14 points for you, Sam. Two on the round. What title did Margaret Thatcher take in 1992? Five. Oh, this case Yeah. Spit after you say that. <laughs> Five on eight for this round. What stretch of water separates Sri Lanka from the Indian mainland? Uh, Hulk Strait. Yeah. Mm. being level with Clive on this round. Which philosopher was famously the tutor of Alexander the Great? Sam. Aristotle. Which nineteen? Uh -huh. yeah. Let's go. Which nineteen sixty-five number one for the birds? <laughs> Mr. Tambourine Man. Yeah. Uh, I'll just read the scores out for this round. Next. Because you've got most. <laughs> yes. No, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Pick up yourself. Yeah. You always have to be okay with that. Anne Elliot is the protagonist of which novel? Uh, it's Sam. This way. Yeah. 18 for you, Sam. Coming originally from the Dutch word for privateer, which term is used to describe the act of intentionally delaying the process of a piece of legislation? Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? Dutch words. Sam, you are on 20. At which battle of 1471 was Richard Neville, the Earl of Warwick, killed? Michael. Barnett. Yes. Oh, good oh, answer, Michael. Where have you been this round? That's not the bad. Which car manufacturer has a model called the Berlingo? Lake Up. Yes. Puts you on six for this round. In which 1985 film did Daniel Day Lewis? My left foot. No. no that's ah. Nice one. Lake Up. In the name of the father? No, minus one. Oh, Elliot. Minus one. Minus one, Clive. No, that's the Mahidans. No. Bond, what did you want? No. no. Uh, just one, uh, I'll tell you in a moment. I've got an idea. Press the no, no, minus no. one. Mike? Mike? Stars and bars? No. Uh, in which 1985 film did Daniel Day Lewis. We stopped and we'll carry on again. 1985, 85. In what? Play a punk rocker. Oh. Oh. My beautiful laundress. Oh, I was thinking oh, all the time. Oh, yeah. A good question. What's that filled in keys like? Was that Michael? Yeah. No. Which bird appears on the state flag of Louisiana? <laughs> Pelican. Uh, yeah. oh, God, I should have got the fucking beaver as well, quite honestly. No, I What's the country? Is it Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that great. Derived from the French for indicator. What name is given to the part of the sundial that casts a shadow? Uh, Lake up. No more. Yeah. That's 20 for the second. <laughs> You're on nine, man. Uh, seven on this round. In which current capital city was Mother Teresa born? <laughs> Lake up. Water. <laughs> no. Steve. Stop here. Yeah. Thank you, Pat Gibson, the last round of Q12 for that one. <laughs> okay. In the Bible, what? who was the father of Noah? <laughs> Abraham. No. Shem? Lake Shem? No. Sam? Oh, I'm a, no, I can't remember. Martin? Me? Yeah. No, these are all guesses. Lamech, Lamech, yeah. Lamech. Oh, 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 oh
Right, where are you? Well, I don't even know where you are. Look, there you go. 17. And that, yeah, the woman. Go. As well, as well as being the simplest protein, which is the most abundant plasma protein in mammals. Michael. Amino acid? No. Like up. Amino acid? Steve? Fat keratin? No. Mike? I think I'm wrong with lipase. No. No. Nothing else. Um, the answer is albumin. Oh, oh, no. Albumin. Okay. Yeah. Two left. Um, which river empties into the North Sea? <laughs> The esque. Yeah, yes. mm. And last question coming up. Um, name the Booker Prize winning author of Narrow Road to the North. Hol Hollinghurst, but it's not. No. It's. One away, Steve? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Did that go away then? No, no. <laughs> It did because look, it's minus one that. And it's not coming from anyone because time is The answer is since you won, you Richard Flanagan. Richard Flanagan. Okay, well, look, on that round, Steve Kidd won it. Yay! I love you, Steve. Are we having a break? We'll have a proper break, 10 minutes.